Welcome back everybody. This week I'm making good on my promise from the last video as we take a look at Pelican 4001 Turquoise. Now I've only had this ink for the last week and a half, but I can already tell it was a good purchase. Pelican says they've been working for 100 years to perfect these 4001 inks, and going off of that, I'd say that they've really perfected the ink on this one. And I like the shape of the bottles. Like the Edelstein bottles, this one evokes a classic feel that really fits into my mental aesthetic of stationery. And I know I'm being pedantic, but when it comes to stationery, I really like that throwback vintage feel that we get here. Now, aside from that, one of the biggest reasons I dove headfirst into this ink was the price. In the process of random Amazon shopping, I saw 60 mil for $11 and knew that I had to do it, especially with a turquoise ink. And I know one day the whole turquoise kick will end, but today's not that day, and I'm still overly obsessed with turquoise. So, welcome to the turquoise corner. I'm your host, and this is the writing sample. So the first thing we notice when we're looking at this ink, it is a very piercing blue. Look at that saturation coming out onto this Tamui River paper. And keep in mind, I'm using a medium nib this time instead of the super stub I've been using over the last couple videos. It is just that much ink on paper. And looking over here at the dry swab that we did, by pass three, we are fully saturated once again. So this is a very wet ink, but it also has that nice little quirk of drying super fast like other 4001 inks. I mean, you can see it here. By the 5 second mark, the 10 second mark, it looks like it's going to go on for another 30, 40 seconds before it dries, but this ink flips it around, and by the 20 second mark on my stopwatch, it was completely dry. And another cool feature that really comes out here in the ink blot that didn't come out at all in Edelstein Topaz is this nice red sheen. And it, it's a good contrast to the turquoise that we have here. And with that, we're coming back around to the desk and the water sample so we can get a more holistic look at what we're looking at with 4001 turquoise. So we are doing this on good old faithful Rhodia.pad number 16. And if you look closely, you can see that it comes out a lot darker on Rhodia than it did on the Tomoe River paper. Now let's go ahead and start the soak. So looking at the water sample, yeah, we're not getting the complete package here, and Pelican even admits it. The only real water-resistant ink that they tout is their 4001 Blue Black and some of their India inks. But this one actually does pretty well. So let's talk final thoughts. All in all, what we get here with 4001 Turquoise is a good, saturated blue ink with some nice shading from light to dark. And unlike Topaz that we looked at last week, we're getting a nice sheen to finish off the complete package. You can even see it here on the rim of the bottle itself. And in this case, a 60 mil bottle being $11 gives you a lot of ink that I really feel that you're going to enjoy the entire time that you have the bottle. Now, like I was saying, this time around, I did have to go through Amazon to get it. But 
there are worse things in the world. And like I said, $11, that's really hard to pass up. So if this is a color for you, give it a shot. But as you can probably hear, my voice is done. So I'm going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you like it. There's also that dislike button. Also, check out the podcast Two Guys Zero Planners with myself and Urban Hafner. And don't forget to click those social links down below. See you next week. Yeah.